what is up you guys, this is me from me DMC here, and, uh, this gameplay stuff's gonna be kinda laggy, but, um, this is a video on how to allocate, or, like, put more RAM into your Minecraft on Windows, so this only works on Windows, so Mac users, uh, there should be an annotation for the Mac version, somewhere on the screen, and the people that, uh, wanted this video, their names will be in so like the top somewhere on the screen like right now and uh yeah so if we go ahead and press f3 you can see inside the top right corner let me go ahead and up in here it says use memory eight or whatever percent keeps on changing so like a hundred and whatever megabytes of 910 megabytes so 910 megabytes is how much uh RAM that, or memory that Minecraft is using, so, what that means is, well, that doesn't, what that means, but, um, that's what we're gonna, you know, like, be doing, we're going to add more RAM to the game, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, and, uh, it's fairly simple, actually, you're just gonna be needing a few things, so, uh, let's go ahead and get started, okay, so, you're gonna be needing to go down to your start menu down here, and then you're going to want to find computer and then you want to right click on it and then go down to properties and click on properties and it's going to show you like the properties of your computer or whatever if it makes sense so I'm going to full screen this here so as you can see uh, it says memory ram i have 4 gigabytes of ram um just remember how much ram you have that's what you're really going to be needing to remember is how much ram you have and your computer name so you're going to be needing or at least your username so remember how much ram you have so i have four gigabytes of ram so once we have that we're going to want to make sure that we have the latest java and the latest minecraft so the links for both minecraft and java will be inside the description below Make sure you have the current version of Java and current version of Minecraft, or else this will not work, I don't think. So, what you're going to want to do is right-click on your desktop, go down to New, and then click on Text Document. And then once you do that, you can name it whatever you want. You can name it, I'm, you can name it like, Test if you want to, so... Go ahead name it and open it up. And now there's going to be something inside the description that you're going to need to copy. And it's going to look just like this. This is exactly what it's going to look like inside the description. Go ahead and copy this whole entire thing. And so copy. Go into here. Uh, text document. And go ahead and paste it in there. But there's going to be needing one. You're going to be needing one thing. So see right here where it says user and then my name. So go down here to your start. Right there. It says Bailey. So go ahead and change that to whatever yours says. So say if it says Brayden. Go ahead and type in Brayden right there. So now that that is in there. So that that's exactly what you'd have except with... So, we have this right here. Now, once you're done with this, you're going to want to go ahead and file, save as, and you, um, you can name it whatever. Um, I'm just going to name it Minecraft. And you're also going to be needing this dot .bat. If you do not have the dot .bat at the end, this is not going to work. So, make sure you have that. Go ahead and save type as all files make sure it saves to your desktop once you got that go ahead and click save and then it should give you something that kind of looks like this it might not look exactly like this but it's going to look like this so now what you're going to want to do is just double click on it and if it says something just like this it's saying it because your username is not in there so this is an example on if you're if you know you've done something wrong so i'm gonna show you what to do if you if that comes up 
So go ahead and delete that thing that you just double clicked on, because that one's a use. So go back into the file that you typed everything in at, like mine right here. So go ahead and make sure that you change it to that, or else this isn't going to work. And make sure, so this is set up for 2 gigabytes of RAM. 2 gigabytes. So, never ever meet. So don't ever go over or meet. An example, say if you have 4 gigabytes, never ever go over or meet 4 gigabytes. Or else your Minecraft will stop working. So, say if you have 4, I'd say using 2 because... Then you can still have Internet Explorer and Skype open and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, all the codes for gigabytes and all that kind of stuff will be in the description. So, say if you want three gigabytes, that'll be in the description. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, blah, 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 and so on and so forth. So, once again, oops, save as. Minecraft. Dot bat all files save. Here we go. When we open it up, we can see nothing really wrong happened. It's all going good. And it should open up Minecraft all by itself. Now you can go ahead and exit on out of that like little black thing and hit login. And now, go ahead and go into your world. And if we go ahead and press F3, again, inside the top right hand corner, you can see it says 1820 megabytes, which is 1820 megabytes, which is 1.820 gigabytes. So, you doubled your RAM, and as you can see, my frames per second was, I think, 2 when I was recording before, and it went up a lot. So, if you have the RAM, I suggest doing this, because before, you can go back into the video, but you can see the difference in FPS wise. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty useful. Um, if you guys want a video on how to stop lag, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I can make you guys one of them but yeah that's pretty much it there's nothing really much else to it so um now if you want to open up minecraft with your upgraded ram you cannot use this anymore you can't use that minecraft you have to use this new command thing you just made so if you use the app itself it's not gonna work so make sure you use this. So that's just about it, guys. Um, go ahead and leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions or concerns. Leave a comment down below if you guys need any more tutorials on Minecraft things or whatever like that.